Hello everyone, uh, a couple of days ago I bought this little heatsink here for the Raspberry Pi and the aim of the video today is to put it on this processor here and try and find out how much it actually cools it. Um, I got it from Bespoke Software, um, I bought it on eBay, it was a £1.75 I think, very cheap. So um, I've got set up at the minute, I have a TV up here and with the, with the Raspberry Pi connected and it shows in the bottom corner here the current temperature with nothing running on the processor the 42 is the temperature in Celsius and the little graph there is uh, the processor usage at the minute and over here I have uh, SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi and have a stress test uh, command ready to run, it's the sysbench command it calculates uh, prime numbers up to two th uh, 20,000 and should put some strain on the processor and hopefully make it hotter than usual. So if I so if I run this command now uh, it's just started running and you can see over here the processor goes to 46 degrees. Okay so if we leave this here for a few minutes the temperature should rise to a stable temperature um, it's usually around uh, 52 or 54 or some, somewhere like that. Okay, so now if I try putting this heat sink on, let's see how much difference it makes. So it has a little sticky label I think under underneath. So at the minute, it's at 50 degrees, and I've tried this before, and it's it's been roughly around that that temperature there. Um, I'll actually leave this running for a few minutes just to just to sort of give it time to get to its to get to its stable temperature, and then I'll cut it back in. Okay, so the uh, the process has been running for a couple of minutes now, and it seems to have stabilised around. 52 to 54 degrees there. It doesn't seem to go much higher than that. Um, I'm running this Raspberry Pi at uh, one gigahertz with the new um, Raspbian image. So it's for, yeah, so it's, it's overclocked to one gigahertz. So okay, so if I put this on now, at the minute it's 53 degrees. So I'll put this little heat sink on here. Okay, and looking over here now, it's dropped down to 43 degrees. And as you can see, the process is still running at full over here. Still calculating the primes there. So it seems to have dropped it just below 10, just below about 9, 8, 9 degrees. Okay, I've had the Raspberry Pi for five or so minutes now, and it seems to have stabilised. Uh, with the heat sink on, as you can see there, to around 51 to 52 degrees. So what I can try now is taking the heat sink off and see how much more it goes up. So if I can peel this off, hopefully it won't damage it much. Okay, uh, sticky side up so I don't <laughs> lose the stick. And let's have a look at the temperature it should start increasing again it usually takes a few minutes to get up to its temperature where it sort of stabilizes but it seems to take it seems to reduce the temperature maybe by 3 degrees maybe 4 so it works out it seems to work okay, but yes, yeah, so it's gone to 55 now. So it, it definitely works, but not a great, not by an awful lot. Just put it back on there. 